then over that time period, I have fought for my life. And some of the times that I was fighting for my life, I could not actually, you know, pray to God. All I could just say was Jesus, and that was enough for him. Come on. Um, it was just, I was like in a little nest in the hospital bed, surrounded by my friends. And I would just lay there and say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And it was, the little birdies were feeding me. <laughs> I felt like a little bird in the nest. Um, but that was the time that my kidneys had shut down. The doctor had given me a 5% chance to make it through it. Well, not only did I make it through it, as you see, um, I have 100% functioning kidneys now. I was Woo! on dialysis. Glory. Um, so, you know, there is hope in the Lord. I mean, if you ask for healing, he heals you. And I had four or five several small strokes, which left my right side um, weak. And then this past year, my I had another stroke, which was a major stroke, and it took my left side away. But it didn't take me away. Come on. I mean, a, a major stroke can kill you in an instant. But nope, not my Lord. Come on. I can move my fingers now. My toes are moving. I can stand. Woo! Yeah. I can Hallelujah. take steps. Praise God. I am going to be walking Woo! and using my hand again. I know it. Yes. Because I am going to be victorious in the Lord's name. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe it. Then in this past December, we had another close call with me. Like I said, it's been a rough road for me. But thank God for my very dear friend here. She is not only my pastor, she's like a second mom to me. She's a friend. She's everything all in one. And when you need that night call that you're in the hospital or something, she might not have actually be able to be there, but she will be there in prayer with you. And after being around her and listening to the word more, in December when I was in the hospital, I ended up, um, I live up here in Shackleford's, and I had a lady that was coming into my house to cut my hair for me. And she actually got er there early that day. And I became unresponsive. We never really quite knew why. Um, but I was not breathing, and I was found, my hairdresser found me unresponsive. So she called 911, and the rescue squad got there, and they said, oh, no, we're flying her up to VCU. So I left Shackleford's. I left Shackleford's not breathing on life support for a week. And after that week when I woke up, I had no residual effects from it at all. Praise God. And then I faced one challenge that I find that really tested my faith. And I want to share this with you just because, you know, sometimes we all feel like maybe our faith isn't strong enough for the Lord. Come we on. all start from a mustard seed. And we continue to grow. It's like we're like infants growing into toddlers. Come on. And so forth. But I felt... In the hospital, I felt like I was a very infant stage. They thought for sure I had coronavirus. They said I had all the symptoms and everything. That, you know, they went into full precautions with me. And I was like, oh, no, I don't have time for this. I've already been in this hospital over a week. I've got to get back to my therapies. And I wasn't able to call out of my room because... The phone in the room did not work. Hmm, I wonder why my phone didn't work. Satan knew exactly who I was going to call and rely on. Yeah, yeah. He is such a liar. Come on. Amen. He just comes to kill, steal, and destroy our lives. Amen. Actually, this morning, 
when I was working on my fingers, getting them to be moving, I actually, I mean, it was in my imagination, but it was like, you know, Satan was sitting on one of my fingers, and on the other finger, God was sitting, and it was like, we were fighting with each other who was going to win. <laughs> right. Well, guess what? God won. Amen. But I had to pray by myself over the coronavirus. And I knew that God was not going to allow that test to come back positive. I just knew it. I prayed and I prayed. And when I went to bed that night, I felt totally at peace. I didn't have any fear in me at all. He wants us to turn that fear over to him. Yes, girl. Oh, oh when you turn that fear, the insecurities of financial situations, mm. health illnesses, or, and anything, if you just turn it over to him, it takes all that burden off of you, That's right. and he does figure it out. It's Amen. like, you know, instead of calling your best friend and saying, oh, you know, my husband did this, my husband did that. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. You know, sit down and, you know, pray to God about it. Amen. He, he wants it. He wants to take it all. That's right. Um, but I just want, want to say that with faith, all things are possible. Come on, girl. <laughs> Amen. I have been healed so many times. I had epilepsy and was having seizures daily. I can't even tell you the last time I had a seizure. Start. And, oh, <laughs> it, it, like I said, I mean, my, my medical history goes quite, quite a ways back. And every time I come out and I defeat Satan. Hallelujah. He thinks he's going to get me, but I, nah, he's wrong. I am a strong-willed, very determined person, and I am going to get the things that I want. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, yes. Amen. He guides me. Like she was saying, you know, the past. Come on. I mean, even in our friendship, you know, the stepping stone that I took through my life, I knew Pastor Wendy early on, and we had lost contact, and the Lord kept putting us in each other's way, and oh, thank the Lord for that, oh, he knew what he was doing, he wasn't Hallelujah. letting her go, Hallelujah. <laughs> but I just wanted to share some of you know, my testimony with you all, that you know, if you are in a wheelchair, on a walker, whatever, there is hope. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Because every day that you give up and lose hope, Satan's saying, ah, I'm one step ahead now. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right, girl. So you just, you, you've got to put him in his place and tell him, no, you've got to rebuke those situations. Amen. So get some food and enjoy. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, sweetie.